everyone. It's me again, and um, I'm out in my backyard again. And I want to introduce you to my cat, Rhett. She's taking a nap right next to me, so I'm going to aim the camera down at her. So that's Rhett. She sometimes likes to be out here. Um, there, we have a bird feeder out here, and she likes to um, watch the birds. Fortunately, she can't get up and get them, so that's good. Um, there's someone else here who you guys might have been wondering about. Let me turn the camera. Let's see. There's Blue Ninja. So Blue Ninja has been sheltering in place here with me at my house. Um, I've been taking good care of him, but of course he misses seeing all of you. And we'll, he'll look forward to going back to the FOC whenever we all get to go back. I don't know when that will be. But anyway, he's doing fine. And I'll, I'll show you. I'll have him. I'll have Blue Ninja say hello every now and then. Okay. So because we were just talking to Blue Ninja, um, I thought it might be fun to read a book about fish. So some of you might know Miguel Agut's Pool. It's um, a Dr. Seuss book, and I know that our grad group loves Dr. Seuss. So we're going to read Miguel Gets Pool, and you can be thinking of, um, of Blue Ninja. Oh, and remember how I suggested all these drawing activities you might want to try? What if you, what if you drew, like, um, a super cool space, you know, like a like a fantasy pond or fishbowl or someplace where a blue ninja might live too. And you could draw a blue ninja in that picture. So that's another idea of something you might want to draw and send me. Anyway, here we go. Miguel Gets Pool by Dr. Seuss. Young man, laughed the farmer, you're sort of a fool. You'll never catch fish in Miguel Gets Pool. Hmm, answered Marco. It may be your right. I've been here three hours without one single bite. There might be no fish, but again, well, there might. Was he right? Just turn the pages and you'll understand why boys and girls everywhere consider this one of their favorite Dr. Seuss books. McGillicott's Pool. Young man, laughed the farmer, you're sort of a fool. You'll never catch fish in McGillicott's pool. The pool is too small and you might as well know it. When people have junk, here's the place that they throw it. You might catch a boot or you might catch a can. You might catch a bottle, but listen, young man, if you sat 50 years with your worms and your wishes, you'd grow a long beard long before you'd catch fishes. Hmm, answered Marco, it may be your right. I've been here three hours without one single bite. There might be no fish, but again, well, there might. Because you never can tell what goes on down below. This pool might be bigger than you or I know. This might be a pool like I've read of in books, connected to one of those underground brooks, an underground river that starts here and flows right under the pasture. And then, well, who knows? It might go along down where no one can see, right under State Highway 203, right under the wagons, right under the toes of Mrs. Umbroso, who's hanging out clothes. It might keep on flowing, perhaps, who can tell, right under the people in Sneedon's Hotel, right under the grass where they're playing croquet, then under the mountains and far, far away.
This might be a river, now mightn't it be? Connecting the Gelligut's pool with the sea. Then maybe some fish might be swimming toward me. If such a thing could be, they certainly would be. Some very smart fellow might point out the way to the place where I'm fishing, and that's why I say if I wait long enough, if I'm patient and cool, who knows what I'll catch in McGilligut's pool. I might catch a thin fish. I might catch a stout fish. I might catch a short or a long, long drawn, drawn out fish. Any kind, any shape, any color or size, I might catch some fish that would open your eyes. I won't be surprised if a dogfish appears, complete with a collar and long floppy ears, woofing along and perhaps he might chase a whole lot of catfish right straight to this place. I might catch a fish with a pinwheel-like tail. I might catch a fish who has fins like a sail. I might catch some young fish, some high jumping friskers. I might catch an old one with long flowing whiskers. I might catch a fish with a long curly nose. I might catch a fish like a rooster that crows. I might catch a fish with a checkerboard belly or even a fish made of strawberry jelly. I might catch a seahorse. Ah! <laughs> My cat is attacking a lizard right now. <laughs> Yikes. She just chased it under the, under the bench. <laughs> okay, back to our story. I might catch a seahorse. How mightn't I now? I might catch a fish who is partly a cow. Some fish from the tropics, all sunburned and hot, might decide to swim up. Well, they might, might they not? Racing up north for a chance to get cool. Full steam ahead from a Gelligut's pool. Some Eskimo fish from beyond Hudson Bay might decide to swim down, might be headed this way. It's a pretty long trip, but they might, and they may. I might catch an eel. Well, I might. It depends. A long, twisting eel with a lot of strange bends, and oddly enough, with a head on both ends. One doesn't catch this kind of fish as a rule, but the chances are fine in McGilligut's pool. I might catch a fish with a, ter with a terrible grouch, or an Australian fish with a kangaroo's pouch. wants to catch small ones like mackerel or trout, say, I'll catch a sawfish with a long, such a long snout that he needs an assistant to help him about. If I wait long enough, if I'm patient and cool, who knows what I'll catch in McGilligut's pool. Some roughneck old lobster, all gristle and muscle, might grab at my bait, then I would have to have a tussle. To land one so tough might take two or three hours, but the next might be easy. The kind that likes flowers. I might catch some sort of a fast-moving bloke who zips through the waves with an overarm stroke. I might and I may, and that's really no joke. A fish even faster, a fish if you please, who slides down the sides of strange islands on skis. He might ski on over and pay me a visit. That's not impossible, really, now is it?
Some circus fish, fish from an acrobat school, might stage a big show in McGilligut's pool. Or I might catch a fish from a stranger place yet, from the world's highest river in far off Tibet, where the falls are so steep that it's dangerous to ride them, so the fish put up shoots and they float down beside them. From the world's deepest ocean, from way down below, from down in the mud where the deep divers go, from down in the mire and the muck and the murk, I might catch some fish who are all going glurk. Whales, I'll catch a whale. Yes, a whole herd of whales, all spouting their spouts and all thrashing their tails. I'll catch 50 whales, then I'll stop for the day, because there's nothing that's bigger than whales, so they say. Still, of course, it might be that there is something bigger, some sort of a thingamajigger, a fish that's so big, if you know what I mean, that he makes a whale look like a tiny sardine. Oh, the sea is so full of a number of fish. If a fellow is patient, he might get his wish. And that's why I think that I'm not such a fool when I sit here and fish in McGilligut's pool. The end. So thanks for joining in for this story. I'll try to get another one out tomorrow. And, um, and I'll... Keep you posted on Blue Ninja and all the rest. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.